it's really interesting because I I 100% agree with Nick. I feel like a lot more of the pressure is going to be on the offenses for the for like both of the for both of these teams. Realistically, for Cleveland, it's going to be establishing themselves as a viable offense in the NFL. I mean, they're relying on a quarterback who really did not show his best last season. And sure, you're right. He didn't have an off-season program, a full off-season program. He missed the first, you know, seven weeks of the season, give or take. And just was kind of thrown into the fire and and didn't show, mm-hmm. you know, much from it. But they went out and added to this offense. They brought in a guy like um, – I, I like that they drafted Cedric Tillman. Um, yeah, I, I would have liked to see Anthony Schwartz uh, not on the IR to start the season. I, I think he's mm-hmm. a, a valuable piece in a lot of offenses. I like their offensive line. I love David and Joku. And to that end, just as it is Cleveland's uh, – Cleveland's offense, as much as it's the pressures on them to try and help establish themselves as a viable offense in, in the NFL, it's also going to be pressure on Cincinnati's offense to, to, to show your one look. The last year, last year or two, wasn't a fluke. Mm-hmm. We're still about it. Yeah. We are still about that action. I, I mean, yeah. you still have a, a, a solid young quarterback in Joe mm-hmm. Burrow. Joe Mixon, he's got the backfield to himself now without Samaj P. Ryan. You're welcome, Craig. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's coming along a little bit with Samaj, though. I think he's starting to, like, you know. Soft and soft. Matt Canada. No, Matt Canada is as good no, as that's, that's, damn, that's you know? violence. <laughs> that's on site. That's yeah. that's a dangerous, dangerous game to play. <laughs> you know? Um they're mortal enemies at this point. Yeah, you know? absolutely. I mean, they see each other. It's, it's yeah, yeah, it's it's a territorial dispute. Call the National Guard or something. You know? yeah. <laughs> call call the CIA. Call the FBI. Call the CIA. Call the All the uh, agencies down here, staff. Call all the letter boys. Get the letter boys down here. We need them. Uh, <laughs> Oh my god! But if we're looking at the Bengals' offense, I mean, they added Orlando Brown Jr., which I mean, that should be a huge. Huge addition to this offensive line. They're still waiting on Lyle Collins to come back healthy. So Jonah Williams is going to be slipping back into that right tackle slot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we're trying to see if they can continue to be a premier offense Mm -hmm. in the NFL, in this AFC landscape. Whereas with Cleveland, we're trying to wait and see, okay, are they going to be able to prove that we are about it? We can, Mm -hmm. you know, stick with the big dogs as you know, they'd like to think that they are um, in, in the AFC as well as in their division. When it comes to both defenses, I feel like we have a, a decent enough idea of what we're getting mm-hmm. out of them, especially with Cleveland. I mean, we know that they are predicated on their front seven, love their defensive. I love their their linebacking core as well. I mean, Owusu Koromoa yeah. is yep. an absolute monster. I mean, yeah. bringing a guy like Zadarius Smith, uh, I mean, yeah, it's great. Garrett on the other side, mm-hmm. you've got Anthony a lot to Walker. work with there. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Uh, Anthony Walker too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, and Walker coming in really, really short the inside of that linebacking group. I mean, it really is a, an impressive front seven. But with that said, there are still some question marks with that secondary. You know, I'll, yeah. I'll oh, of course. Them, you know, give them that. Not sure about Thornhill's health. Um, Still not 100% sold on Delpit. I mean, he's been pretty up and down in his young career. Mm-hmm. And then with the Bengals, in a, it's kind of the opposite. I mean, I like what we have in Hubbard and Hendrickson. I'm not 100% sold on the interior of their D-line and their their, their uh, linebacker group. But, I mean, Cam Taylor-Britt and Chidobia Wuzie are, I mean, that's a one-two right there. That's a, that's a pairing. You know, in their corner slot, I like a woozy a lot. I'm big. I love a woozy. Yeah. Taylor mm-hmm. Britt, I think, really showed off what he can be. He showed flashes mm-hmm. last season. Uh, also, I got to give Elise a little bit of love. I, I have to. I can't go an entire episode without talking about it. Uh, Mike Hilton, of course, uh, yeah. our boy, our our boy from down <laughs> here. Um, that's all I'm going to give you. <laughs> uh, but. To give a prediction on this one, like I said, uh, Bengals are two and a half point favorites on the road. I think this is, I I agree. I think this is going to be a really tight game. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with Cincinnati to win, Mm -hmm. but I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sure if they cover. I I think these teams really match up well against each other. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. 
I could see it being a one, two point game for sure. If it ends up being by a field goal, I mean like a half point is, is I'd consider that a pretty bad beat. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, that is a really bad beat to take it by a half point. So I guess it depends on what line you're looking at. Um, Mm, who's Cleveland's kicker again? Uh, gosh, I'm blanking out. Didn't they um, cut? Didn't they cut one of their kickers? I oh, their kicker. This. Oh, it's Dustin Hopkins. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm. I'm trying to play. I was trying to blank on that. He hasn't played much over the last couple seasons, um, because they they waived Cade York, which mm -hmm. I found that very strange. That mm -hmm. was that was a really weird move. I I don't know why they did that. I liked Cade York. Um. Actually, Hopkins, decent though, you know, he's got a, no, 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 Dustin, no, he, he's, a, he's a good kicker. And then Cincinnati, sure. we know they got Evan McMoney. Um, actually, no, you know what? Give me Cincinnati plus, uh, you know, Cincinnati and the two and a half. Um, I'd rather say take the two and a half and, and try and escape the bad beat. Mm -hmm. Um, but like if it ends up being a field goal and McMoney has to, you know, cash mm -hmm. one in from, from downtown, mm -hmm. Nick, you're, right. you're, uh, I'll unmute you, buddy. I can't do it. No, I'm good. Okay. Were you muted? I, Who muted you? I, I, I think muted myself. Uh, yeah. Oh, I gotcha, just saw. I, I saw you giggle when I said uh, Evan McMoney. <laughs> um, he was crazy last year. I, he I was got so good. in the leagues right now too, bro. He was Ed so McPherson, good. Evan McPherson. Yep. Yeah. I've got a. I've got a bunch of McPherson and a bunch of Young Way Koo stock in leagues where it's all about. I do. I have a bunch goals. of Young Way Koo as well. Yeah. He's the man. In those in those leagues where it's all about how how deep some of his kicks are. I'm like, that dude is money from like 60 plus. It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. 